to our McTravels. I'm Courtney. McWorlds. Just forget it. Do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our McWorld. I'm Courtney. I'm Mallory. <sighs> Merry freaking Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So, today we're talking about Christmas. All things Christmas. Yes. Really, not all things Christmas. No, just Christmas party. <laughs> yes. We're we'll talking about some Christmas party ideas and things that we do at our Christmas parties. Yeah. So, we've had Christmas parties for a long time now, of course. Um, at first, when we started having them, they were just, you know, kind of generic. And then we started hopping on some of the bandwagon themes. Yeah. So, you know, of course the first bandwagon probably that we hopped on was tacky Christmas sweaters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everybody has kind of done Christmas sweaters, but we've done several different, like at first we just did regular tacky sweaters. Yeah. So we kind of, you know, we went to Goodwill and places like that and really looked for like tacky sweaters that were legit just regular sweaters. Right. Yeah. Then we branched out and started making our own sweaters. <laughs> yeah, because one year, Kayla made her own sweater without telling anybody else so she could show us all up. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> but it was a really freaking awesome sweater, which you've probably seen it now because it's kind of expanded. You know, I've seen this sweater since she's done it, but she did like the chimney thing where she held out her arms in yeah, the fireplace had... and she had stockings. Yeah. So then we all had to up our game. So we were like, we're all going to do it. So we decided we would just, for several years, everybody kind of did their, you know, did yeah. just whatever they thought was a cool sweater. Like You can still just buy one at the store if you wanted, or a lot of us just made different ones. Yeah, we were like, we're going to make something crazy. Like I made a snow globe sweater one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did um, a Christmas Carol one one time, which was a Walking Dead crossover. Yeah. So, yeah, I made it look similar to sort of an outfit Carol had worn on the show and then had the cookies, and so I was Christmas Carol. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I did um, one of mine, which technically wasn't a sweater. It was just a shirt, yeah. but some years we just had shirts. Um I made a Christmas story shirt. So I cut out out of felt like all these different things. Yeah. Um, like a bunny suit, like a, like a pink bunny and a gun and some different things and put them all, glued them all onto my shirt, like the lamp. Yeah. Um, and had sort of a theme going on. One um, year, and this was probably the, mo the worst idea ever, I made a Hanukkah shirt. And it wasn't a horrible idea because it was a Hanukkah shirt. It was a <laughs> horrible idea because it was a shirt made entirely of glitter. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, we like to embrace all holidays. So, on this one, I had put, a, I think I put a dreidel on the front mm -hmm. or something. And then on the back, I had put, made it look like a Clay Thompson jersey. Because of a Jimmy Kimmel skit where Guillermo goes and interviews NBA Finals players, so yeah, look that up and you'll figure out what I'm talking about. But I put I made the whole thing out of glitter, and of course, glitter went everywhere. Yeah, so that was a terrible idea. Glitter for days. Yeah, actually, I think on the front it just said dreidel, 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 and then on the back it had yeah. like a yeah clay. Never doing that again. We had so many cool sweaters, and yeah. we'll post some pictures up here of the different sweaters and party sweater parties we've had. Yeah. But one year we decided that instead of doing tacky sweaters, because um, several people couldn't come, so there were just going to be four of us, I mm -hmm. think, we decided we would do tacky pajamas. Yeah. So this started off a new craze. Yeah. Where we started, instead of doing tacky sweaters, we started doing tacky pajamas. But the first year, we we all went and bought those onesie pajamas yeah. from Walmart. Yeah. I, mine was a, I was a monster. Yeah, mine was a giraffe. I got some wear out of that thing, though, because I've worn that for... 
I wore it to work for a Halloween costume one time. Yeah. I was Jeffrey the giraffe from Toys R Us as a job interview person. <laughs> See, my, my costumes for work sometimes, they're just so up here. Nobody's on my level. Everybody, nobody gets it. No, Yeah, nobody gets it. Yeah. <laughs> one year I was James <laughs> Gandalf Amy. <laughs> So I was a cross up between Tony Soprano and Gandalf. <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. But I still have the I still have the monster pajamas actually. Yeah, I still have my giraffe onesie. But then we just started doing pajamas. So every I think even maybe every year since we've yeah. really done pajamas. So everybody just wears Christmas pajamas or at least pajama pants and some kind of Christmas shirt. Yeah, so we started getting, we kind of got back into different kinds of shirts. Like most of us get a new shirt and a lot of us get new pajamas every year too. But here mm -hmm. lately I haven't gotten as many new pajama bottoms only because I don't wear them that much. I mostly just wear them for the party. I wear like shorts when I go to bed. Yeah. But, um, so like this is one of the shirts that I got. It's, um, it's all Harry Potter themed. But it's a Christmas tree. Yeah. And then I got, um, I just have some other random shirts I had too, but yeah. I have a pretty cool shirt that I got, um, I bought on Etsy and it's got, um, Betty White and B. Arthur on it. Yeah. And it says, may all of your Christmases. B. White. B. White. <laughs> <laughs> I wore it to work one time and it took people a minute to get it, but. They did, yeah. eventually, or sometimes I had to explain it. And you have that <laughs> shirt. Oh yeah, they have this shirt. My I'll be home for Christmas shirt that I made last year. <laughs> Cause I thought it'd be cool. I was watching that movie and I was like, man, that'd be a cool shirt. And I couldn't find one, so I just made it myself. Yeah. So pajamas have been a big hit, mostly because pajamas are really comfortable and it's easy to sit on the floor in them and you don't care if they get dirty, if you have to, sit on the floor for some reason because yeah to play games we don't have yeah. a i mean most of the time when we play games and stuff we end up sitting on the floor yeah to play because i don't know why. yeah eventually we'll be too old for that but yeah not yet we're getting close to it may hurt sometimes <laughs> yeah. to sit on the floor for a long period of time well and i know everybody kind of <laughs> does pajamas as a family but also, I guess we kind of felt like the, I'm still down with a tacky Christmas sweater, but it's also kind of played. I mean, everybody kind of does that. So, you know, that's why we um, switched to pajamas. Yeah. And then, they, you know, since pajamas are so... I forgot to have the sound on. I was trying to hear a video. That didn't upset me. Anyway, it was a boomerang. Anyway. But everybody really liked the pajamas. So last year we proposed, last year we didn't end up having a big Christmas party anyway, but we had proposed classy Christmas. We were wanting to get all dressed up and have classy Christmas and we got shot down. Yeah, nobody liked that idea once we started doing pajamas. Yeah, so everybody was like, but one time we're going to have a classy Christmas party. It might just be two of us because nobody else will come. Everybody else will be wearing their pajamas. Yeah. We had to cancel last year, but hopefully this year we'll get to have our Christmas party. I don't yeah. know if we'll have, get to have classy Christmas or not. Yeah, I will. Because everybody's like... Mm. To, to be fair, me and Mallory will probably also put pajamas on. If well, I don't know how long we'll stay in classy Christmas either. <laughs> it all depends on how the party's going. Yeah, right. Because it is hard to, obviously, get down and play games and do all that kind of stuff when you're yeah. really dressed up. But. Yeah. Oh, well. If we don't have classy Christmas, we'll have classy New Year's. Yeah. But, so that's it. If you want to have a cool theme, yeah. pajamas are a pretty cool theme if you don't want to do sweaters anymore. Yes. Or make your own sweater instead of just buying them. I mean, you could buy all kinds of sweaters now at the store. Like, they have all sorts of... Yeah, they have kits where you can make your own... Yeah. But you can also, like she was saying, T Public. This is where I got this shirt. Mm -hmm. It has independent artists on it. Etsy, of course, is a great place to get a cool shirt. Mm -hmm. You know, this year I'm probably, if we don't do Classy Christmas and we do pajamas again, 
I'd probably get me like a Die Hard shirt. Yeah, just something cool. And then too, if you just want to make your own, it's cool. Like you could just go to Walmart and you don't even have to get, like I said, a sweater. You can get a yeah. sweatshirt or just a long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, whatever. And just buy right. stuff and you don't have to like, even if you don't have like a cricket or something like that where yeah. you cut stuff out. I mean, you can like do like, I'm going to make my Christmas story shirt and you just cut it out yourself. Yeah. And it's always cool, I think, when you make it yourself as opposed to yeah. buying it. I mean, one of the shirts I made, which was probably up here by now, I don't know. It just, I just got a bunch of random stuff and glued it on there. Like, it's like tinsel and lights. Yeah. Because you can get lights that have battery packs to them. That's mm -hmm. the money shot. And then, you know, just glue a bunch of Christmas stuff to it and just make it look cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, look into that. But, otherwise, so, what to do at your Christmas party? Yeah, what should we do? So, a couple of years, um, I think, I know at least one year, maybe twice, we did uh, ornament decorating, mm -hmm. which everybody seemed to like. So, if you never tried ornament decorating, like, you could buy those bulbs, um, the clear ones that you could put stuff in yeah. at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you can get, um, even at Walmart, I think, or mm -hmm. Target, they probably have stuff like that. Or you could just get the plain bulbs. I would recommend getting the shatterproof bulbs, for sure. For real. Just as in a general sense, I yes. don't buy non-shatterproof bulbs at all no. <laughs> for my tree. Um, and you could decorate those with, like, paint or paint pens and things like that. Um, yeah. We had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, we made a lot of like fandom ornaments and mm -hmm. just all kinds of different stuff that we found online and it was something everybody could kind of do. Um, another year we did a craft thing. We made snowmen that Mallory had found a thing online. You just, you wrap string around like two different size balloons or whatever. Oh yeah. Well, you, you dunk the string in glue and then wrapped it and kind of made your snowman and then popped the balloons and pulled them out. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, so craft or noon kind of a thing. And a lot of times what we do is if we're having a craft sesh, we'll start that early and we'll mm -hmm. have like two designated times. Like the craft session starts at this time and then the party starts at this time because not all of our friends like crafting. Yeah. But a lot of them do. So that way they can come whichever. Uh. So if you want to do something like that, there's plenty of Christmas craft ideas on Pinterest and everywhere else. Yeah. Um, that's fun to do if you like crafting and your friends and mm -hmm. family, whoever comes to your party likes to craft. <laughs> yeah. On the similar note of ornaments, we also started a long, I don't even know how long ago now. Oh, wow. We started doing ornament swap, which mm -hmm. is cool. And so everybody who wants to participate just brings an ornament and you wrap it up and put it under the tree. And then everybody kind of just grabs an ornament. We don't usually do it like the, where you can, you take somebody's, we usually no. just get one and keep you get one. get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. But we always try to get cool and different and cute. I mean, you get all kinds of it's different. It's different or Sometimes you get ridiculous ornaments. Sometimes yeah. you get just like really, really cute ornaments. So yeah. Yeah. That's always fun. Yeah. I think people like. Yeah. we The ornament swap seems to be a big hit. We really like it too. And, and then another thing that we did, which again was a bandwagon type of a thing, but who doesn't like cookies, is we do cookie, we normally bring cookies, like everybody yeah. brings cookie, a different kind of cookie, and then we eat them, of course, at the party, and then we buy the little treat bag so that everybody can take cookies home with them. Yeah, so we have, usually, um, we have at least like five or six different kinds of cookies, yeah. which is cool because there's some, you know, Something for everybody. Right. But then, yeah, we always have treat bags. Cause Make sure you get the treat bags. <laughs> Don't let them leave all the cookies in yes. your house. That will happen, and it's no good. Yeah. Now, the one good thing, usually, typically, uh, is the day after the day we usually have our Christmas party is one of my family reunions. So, if like, people do try to leave their cookies at my house, I take them to the family yeah. reunion. But, just, just make sure... People you can take some cookies, or at least the cookies they brought. <laughs> you can get treat bags at Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Store or whatever for Walmart, 
for really cheap. Yeah. Get the dream. Pass. And I mean, you could get some cute little, we got some cute little boxes or something yeah. one time for something. Yeah, those were cool too. So you could do different things, but just make sure people yeah. are trying to take some home. Yeah, and I know at some place, some people that do cookie things, they also bring the recipes and stuff. We don't normally do that. Mm -hmm. um, also, probably more than likely because if we found our recipe, we got it off of Pinterest anyway, so we can just send them the pin. Yeah, I'll be like, let's share it with you online. <laughs> but we do, we do that. And then another thing that we sometimes do is we do like a hot chocolate bar kind of a thing where we just have different kinds of hot chocolate mm -hmm. we have different mixers like you know some of us will put like toasted marshmallow vodka or whiskeys or something like that in our hot chocolate and then we have candy canes and marshmallows whipped cream all that all that good stuff yeah some good toppings yeah and we change up food like regular food mm -hmm. you know sometimes we do we've done like dips yeah just soups soup. one time yeah so any kind of regular food like we usually like a snacky type yeah thing people just bring like that but yeah. the and cookies are our main yeah theme you know yeah we do those almost every time consistent thing we do and then um for activities we do play christmas trivia a lot we have a couple different christmas trivia games um that you know, one of our Christmas trivia games came out in like 1994 or something when we were six. Yeah. <laughs> and it has that Christmas trivia game and you can still find this this thing online. It's really Mallory's mama's game. Yeah. Um, Taking over it. It has not only, it's not just like movie and TV trivia. It's all kind of Christmas. Yeah. It's like, his, you know, history of facts all, you know, of all different sorts of um holidays too yeah. not just christmas specifically but it's got questions yeah about like hanukkah and different things yeah so that one's a pretty good one and then we have like a christmas movie trivia but yeah it's only a couple different movies yeah a lot of die hard questions yeah which was not good at the time last time we played it because we hadn't watched die hard yeah no the only reason we did as well as we did at the die hard questions is because i'm obsessed with brooklyn 99 turns out if you watch enough brooklyn 99 you can get a lot of die hard questions correct yeah right <laughs> <laughs> take my picture with it <laughs> but they have different christmas trivias and games that you can get um yeah. on amazon or Etsy or online, different places. Yeah, we that have a Christmas play. charades too, I think. Yeah. That we play That's sometimes. That's pretty fun. Depending yeah. on how you want to play charades, you can make it <laughs> more interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, back in our younger days, <laughs> we one time played True Elf, which is a riff on True American Yeah. Um, if you've ever watched New Girl, that's the only way you're going to know about True American. But we played True Elf, and um, so we just had different kinds of of tasks. We don't play True American exactly like they play it on the show. We adapt. Which, who knows how they play it anyway. Right. It so, doesn't really have many rules, so we just kind of do whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever we played that played that game. So if you're young and. Um, you don't care if people stand on your furniture. Yeah. I have more adult furniture now, so... We don't... Put, we also, don't, we're old now. We don't stand on it. We can't if, handle it. We fell off the furniture nowadays. <laughs> yeah. It'd be bad. It probably hurt. It probably would have been bad then, but I guess we didn't care as much. Yeah. So, we don't play true elf any... any we don't play true anything no, anymore. No, we don't we're play all too old. a true anything game. And Although, we're probably about time. as old as they were on that show, but... The furniture. But we don't want to stand on the furniture. Yeah, we can't stand on the furniture anymore. <laughs> that's, the pro that's the only thing. So, yeah. Those are, I mean, sometimes we do Christmas-themed cocktails. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, you know. But that's pretty much the key ingredients to a good Christmas party. Yeah. So, it's really not that difficult to have a Christmas party. Um, mm -hmm. And then if you want to have any kind of specific theme... That also can be fun. Yeah. Like people, you want people's, which really, I guess, having like a sweater party or pajama party is kind of like having a theme. Yeah. But. Yeah. So you can make it whatever you want it to be. Yeah. But it is a lot of fun and it's a good way. Of course, we love Christmas. Yes. 
So it's my favorite. Yeah. And it's a good way to we we normally try to have our Christmas party towards the beginning of the month because mm. the later in the month you have it the more at least our people get bombarded with different family events and stuff. I mean, most of our like you know, one of our friends, a few of our friends are married or engaged or whatever, so they not only have their standard family, they have in-laws and yeah, places. Everybody's reunions. got reunions. We got so many family reunions, yeah. get-togethers in December. It's so yeah. we always try to do it early in December. Plus, yeah. we've got like couple birthdays. We got all kinds of stuff that goes on in December. So it's a pretty busy month, but yeah. we try to. Uh, make it at least one Saturday. Yeah, yeah. For our uh, get together with our friends. Yeah. So make sure you do that. But the main thing is have a good time and enjoy Christmas yeah. or whatever. Christmas or Mama Kwanzaa. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you celebrate, Festivus for the rest of us. Yeah. Your holiday party. Yeah. At our next Christmas party, I'm going to be doing an airing of grievances. <laughs> we're going to start, I'm going to put a poll up and we're going to have Festivus. Okay. Yeah, you have to watch that film. Yeah, it's on Netflix. I don't know. No excuse now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festivus. Mm -hmm. Happy sol winter solstice, as Sheldon would say. <laughs> Saturnalia. I don't know. Whatever you celebrate, happy that to you. Happy, merry Christ holidays. Yes. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. <laughs>